can I'm just gonna pause this and we'll back we'll be back at the point where we we're at before. Alright. Uh so we're back again. So I was saying once you start painting with a 35 degree angle, it seems to look pretty nice and it, it seems to be blending um painting the cliff material at the uh places where it wanted to display. Obviously you'll have to um set up set the angle back to zero and start painting with a smaller brush some details, you know, just fixing a bit the blendings here and there. Alright, so now you know how to use the slab degree and you know how it works. So this could greatly speed up the process of painting detail textures, okay? Uh, so what we did here, so let's see. So I showed you how to create a new layer, how to use a material for it, and uh, how to have it blend perfectly with the terrain. Since we already have the uh, color, um, terrain color, we don't need to paint a new one by having the hardness set to a certain value and having a color here set here. Um, now what I need to show you is the issue that you might run into uh, once, let's say, you saved your level, you got the editor that crashed and you want to reopen your level. Let's try this out. Um, I'm going to save this level. I'll do a uh, generate surface texture first, just in case. Save. And we're going to rerun the editor. Open up our level. And there it is. Now the first thing that you notice is that the texture, the material, got all bright. The changes that we made to our material, if you remember properly, we darkened our material uh, over here. We set the values here to, um, to 220 for each submaterial. Okay? So uh, I'll show you how to create a custom material. That way, later on, when you save your level uh, while using your own materials, it will save the materials. And when you reopen the level, it will still have the same settings. And you won't have any problems with blending, uh, tex detail texture blendings. Uh, you won't see any tiles. That's the main issue. Because um, I was surfing a bit on quietdev.net and I saw a lot of thread dealing with this kind of problem uh, about people having their detail textures not blending properly on their terrain. So the tip for that like I showed you earlier is to paint your layers while having a hardness of zero assuming you already have a color map that has been done um, the way I did in the tutorial and uh, painting your cliff material with a yeah, a hardness of zero and uh, painting your layer or having um, grayscale col color texture. Okay? Now, uh, we're going to start by making, I'll show you how to create your own materials. What we're going to do basically is just copy this material and create a custom folder for it. That way we can just have our own material which has been um, changed. Okay. So go to the materials editor, open up your materials folder, and we're going to do uh, add new item operation. Now what we're going to do here is go to our crying engine uh, SDK folder. In my case I just put it um, in the hard disk, on the C hard disk, and it's there at the root. And inside the folder, you're going to look for a game folder. And then if you don't have this material folder, materials folder inside the game folder, what you could do is just create a new, uh, new folder and name it materials. And inside the materials folder, what I'm going to do is create a new folder that I will call custom. Or you can call whatever you want, uh, depending on the project you're working on. 
It could be uh, custom terrain materials, for example. I'll just name it custom terrain. All right. Now open this folder and name the material. In this case, since we're working on a cliff material, we'll just name it cliff uh, custom underscore custom or one. Save. There we go. Now what you need to do is um, set it up that way so that it can project a texture in a tree axis. Um, or what we could do it is an even simpler way and probably the fastest way is just copy this original material, select your custom terrain folder and pass it and rename this. Uh, I'll just rename it O2. Saved. And there it is. It came. It is the exact same material. Now all you gotta do is apply this material to our layer, which is here. Remember to save your material first as well. Save item. Now select your layer and assign material. And to make sure that it is all working properly, all you gotta do is switch some values. Whoops. Terrain material disappear. Let's probably need to reapply my material. And there it is. It disappeared randomly. Ready to zoom in. Let's see. Probably need to repaint the layer, maybe. There we go. We're running into some issues already, and we'll try to find a solution for these issues. As you can see, it reappeared again, just randomly. It's really this randomness that <laughs> I bet cracks up a lot of people. Uh, trying to work with the SDK. Um, let's save this just in case there's a, a crash. I don't want to restart all over again. Um, all right. Let's go back to our material editor to the point where we were and go to our custom material. It is a cliff material here. I'll delete this one since we don't need it anymore. All right. Let's see. Modifying the material. Okay, uh, for some reason, or never mind, never mind. All right. So basically, what I did here, I'm going to save again since it's not displaying properly and I probably need to do a generate surface texture just in case. I'll just use a 2048 with 2048 at low quality. And hoping that it will fix the problem, but it seems like it does not fix the problem. And once I open up the texture editor, it displays the textures. Uh, now this is something new to me and I'll probably try painting the layer. All right. Let's save it again. Okay, so what we did earlier, we changed uh, some settings in the material editor just to see if the materials is properly applied to the terrain. And it does seem like it is properly applied and it is properly working, maybe the, even though we have some issues that are probably due to some bugs, but it is properly working here, okay? So once I save the level and exit the editor, when I run it back again, it should have the settings that I set up the materials to. I mean, I darkened the material. Earlier, when I used the default material that came with the SDK, I did some changes. Uh, I darkened a bit the materials. When I came, I rerun my level, it was all bright again. It was set, it went back to its default value that were set up by the developers of um, the um, 
CryEngine, the ones that, uh, and these ma these materials were actually used for the demo that came with the uh, uh, SDK. All right, we're gonna open our level up, our level again. Let's hope it it works because for some reason it is not uh, working. Uh, there we go. Okay, so uh, we meet some issues here again, random issues, probably because we didn't, maybe it's not that random, maybe there is a, a good solution for that, and probably because I didn't do a generate surface texture and saved my terrain. So in order to fix this problem, like I showed you earlier, is re-import your color texture again. And open it up. Okay, there we go. So we have some, um, when I zoom out a bit, we can see that it's pixelated, but this is not that much of an issue that's normal. And all I need to do is probably generate surface texture 496 by 496, and it could probably make it look a bit better. All right. It is probably it is working better. We have a 3D texture here. We we created a custom 3D texture in our custom folder. We saved its its settings and it's saved with the level. So every time I rerun the level, another generate surface texture just in case, and save the level. And uh, we're gonna restart the editor and see if there are any more issues. I'll. All right, I just paused the video for a sec, just the time to, uh, to load the editor. All right, seems to seems like our materials have, have been properly saved. The level lo loads up where our detailed materials apply to the terrain properly. All right, so what we're gonna do now is apply different materials to our terrain. Let's say for some soil or uh, some uh, different grass texture for instance, uh, to our terrain. Now what we're gonna do is copy some materials that, ca that came with the SDK and apply them, create new layers for, for each different material and apply them to our terrain. Now, we're gonna cre create a custom material for each of those material that we're gonna use since we're gonna change them in a way that they will blend nicely with our base color map that we have here on the terrain. Open up the material folder and go to terrain. And um, let's see, we probably want to use this ground earth village leaves uh, material. So we're going to copy this material, go to our custom terrain folder, select it, and do a past. And we'll have to set up again where it is going to be saved. materials custom terrain all right so this one is uh, grass dusty I'll just name it this way or leaves dusty there we go and there it is now we're going to apply this to our terrain we're, we're going to create a new layer add layer Name it leaves dusty. I'll just name it the same way the material is named, and assign the material when having so um, the material selected, and the layer of course as well. And there you have it. Change the texture to 128 underscore gray one just to make sure it's working properly, to avoid any issues in the future. All right. Now um, save it as well. I'm gonna save the level too. Yeah, I need to be really careful when working with this kind of operations because it is very unstable and might crash just randomly because you just didn't follow uh, the steps how it was designed by the um, developer. This is why usually you get a crash. 
and it is not normal. It is not supposed to be working that way if you were uh, look at it as uh, a user's point of view. Okay, let's start. Let's try painting this layer that we just added. Now remember to turn down the hardness to zero. That way you won't be painting this white color onto your gigantic color map. As you can see, it is painting detail texture, but it is tiled too much. So it doesn't look the way we want it to. But as you can see, the color map is indeed overlaying on top of it without creating too many blending issues. So what we're going to do here is modify our material to make it tile uh, the tiles bigger. So we're we're going to our material here. Here it is. Leaves underscore dusty underscore all one, and go to the fuse here. There's a tiling uh, roll down bar, and you could change these values, okay? And we'll probably run into one problem. As you can see, the tiling isn't changing the way we want it to. So that's because the material comes with a parallax and offset bump mapping. So we're going to deactivate these and we're trying to get the result we wanted. Um, all right, back to our tiling options. Now here we change the tiling. Obviously, um, to know how the tiling is working here, uh, lower values gives you bigger bigger tiles and uh, higher values it will give you um, a lot more t of tiles let's say if I use a 10 va value uh, you'll see it you'll have to really zoom in to even see the detail this in this case the tiles are just too small so a uh, value of 01 uh, 0 0.1 is probably a good choice in this case and if you change the tiles for the diffuse here will probably have to do the same for the bump map. In this case, it is a normal map. We need to find, there it is, the tiling. Change it to 0 0.1 as well. That way it could properly project and correspond with the diffuse texture. And there it is. Now save your material. Okay, and save your level as well, just in case. All right. So we have here our soil texture, and we can start painting the soil to replace a bit the grass, the base grass that we used earlier, and uh, crash again. All right, I'm gonna pause this, and I'm gonna I'll be back to this point. All right, we're back again. I just loaded up the level. As you can see, there's still the same. Um, issue with uh, the color map since uh, we just crashed as soon as we started painting the uh, uh, detail texture, the soil detail texture and um, like I said earlier in order to fix this problem is just to re-import your color map by selecting all the tiles. I just had to light up another cigarette just in case uh, because this you need a lot of patience to work with terrains on the core engine. I just hope Crytek fixes this, these issues. All right, there you have it. Save the level. I'll probably need to do a general surface texture and save the level again. That way.